Hello everybody, today we're going to get back into that 100 box, so let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife Angelique. Uh, it's called The Deegans. Um, links are below. Okay, uh, so we're going to continue going through that 100 box. Now, the last video, I felt like it did go kind of long, and talking just continuously for that long is um, just kind of hard to do. So I am going to try to make these videos a little shorter. Um, so I have set aside a box of stuff to go through, but probably going to try to get through it in two videos. So um, this is part two of the 110 box. Uh, this was 61 pounds. My wife got it from... Um, Fashion Without Trashing, uh, on, and she got it off of Instagram, so she didn't get it off Poshmark. Um, so, and the person doesn't have any more boxes available at this time, or probably for the foreseeable future. Um, she did try to get another one, but um, they just sold out right before she got it. So, Okay, first up we have a Paris... Altair and other stories. Uh, this is a US 2 um, and this is an orange skirt. Now it's a US 2. It's a, it was a little bit small to fit on the on our leg mannequin. It's kind of wrinkly. I kind of just need to iron it. Um, but it was just a bit too narrow in the waist but I still was able to put it on there and it looked fine. It does have this uh, belt. Now, this belt is attached. It doesn't come off. Um, and it also has the zipper. I believe the zipper's on the side. Yeah. Alright. Up next, we have this blue jumper. I think this is a jumper. This is a flying tomato large. And I'm just going to scoot the camera back a little bit so you can get a better view of this. Now it does have the, it does have an open back um, and the kind of some elastic right going right around the back. Maybe elastic, maybe something else. Uh, something stretchy. But it is in fact, it's, it's a jumper not a dress. I think that's the proper term. Uh, so it has legs and um, I don't like, I, I do not like shooting these because they are just a real pain to get on the mannequin and pain to get off and they just take forever to shoot and which is why when last time I shot I had several of them like this one uh, this is a Urban Outfitters um, and oh, I might need to find a new spot for my microphone because I keep doing this okay we'll just see um, Oh boy, oh, this makes for great, makes for great content here, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. We're just gonna try not to touch that. All right. Um, yeah, this is an Urban Outfitters, and this is a, another. Um, I guess this would technically be uh, overalls, but because it doesn't have the sleeves, it just kind of straps. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so let's try let's try like that. Maybe not putting it out of the cup holder is the right call. And anyway, this is a striped overalls. It does have a zipper in the back that actually goes down a fairly uh, goes down a fairly decent amount of the uh, of the item, so you definitely can get these on and get them zipped up, no problem. All right, moving right along, we have a, what is this? This is a Milu, uh, this is a medium, and this is a uh, long sleeve shirt, a um, little bit see-through, um, I can still kind of see through it, uh, so definitely something you'd want to wear, something underneath it, but it's got that, uh, and it's got that um, kind of that on uh, what would you call that the 
kind of goes around the goes goes down around the hips, comes up around the uh, around the front and the back. Um, I think it's kind of meant to be worn just a little bit baggy over everything because uh, it does look a little bit big for a medium, but I, don't know, I could be wrong. Okay, up next we have a H and M. Uh, this is a US 14. And you really can't see the H&M there, but it's not showing up very well on the camera. Maybe you can see kind of it. It looks a lot better. Anyway, this is a this is a Wolverine's colored dress. Um, it's got these little button flowers on them. Um, I'm calling them button flowers because they they're little buttons, but they got little petals around them. So they're flowers, and then at the bottom it inverts from the blue and yellow to the or from the yellow and blue to the blue and yellow. Um, and like I said, it's, we don't really care much for those colors, um, because they, they belong to the wrong team. Um, so we're not going to mention that team. We're not going to sully this video with, uh, with their name. All right. Up next, we have a... Oh, where is the tag on this? I remember the tag was... Ah, there it is. Uh, this is a... Tarfaluk collection. Oh, it's Zara. It's Zara. I'm reading the name of the item rather than the... Or the line rather than just the brand. Anyway, this is a Zara... Um, it's a kind of a, I guess, it's a skirt with some straps, um, or maybe it's just a top, I really couldn't tell, um, it kind of hung in a weird place on the mannequin where, uh, like, it hung right around the belly, so you'd have to, definitely couldn't wear it as a, couldn't wear it, like, alone, unless you're a very short person, but then this top would probably be too, I don't know. It was just very weird to photograph, um, but it's a Zara, so um, Zara's been doing very well for us recently. Um, we've been selling, like, we've sold, um, we didn't really have a lot of Zara before this box, and we've, now that we've just got this box, we've been listing it, and it has been selling pretty good. So, definitely very, very happy to get a Zara. Um, mm. Not really super happy about how awkward it was to shoot, but I'm sure my wife can find the pictures that'll make it look good and sell. All right, now enough of that awkward fumbling around. We have a very J pair of pants. Uh, these are large. Uh, they are new with tags, um, so I'm not familiar with very J. I'm not sure if it's related to brand J. Probably not. Uh, but these are just your standard pair of um, khaki pants. Um, I didn't see, I mean, there's, a, or no, they're very J. I don't know. Um, I didn't see on the 100% polyester, I didn't see, you know, I'm not sure. I mean, they say they're a large, so I don't think they're men's pants. I mean, they don't look like men's pants, but maybe, maybe they're unisex. Who knows? Um, they do seem a little bit, they do seem a little bit oddly sized for a large, but maybe they're using some other sizing besides standard. I don't know. Uh, up next we have a Movent New York, uh, and these are a small pair of shorts, and they are also, oh, if I could flip it out there, there it is, they're also new with tags. So um, I always like seeing the new with tag stuff when we get these reseller boxes because new with tags this is just something that you can really um, it's 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 a great point to put when you're listing stuff. Um, anyway, these pants are uh, green with sub vertical stripes. Uh, the vertical stripes do alternate between being too narrow and too wide stripes. It goes all the way around. Uh, it does have pockets pockets, uh, two in the front, or two on the sides, um, two on the back, and um, it does have uh, the extra button on the inside as well as on the outside, 
So you can kind of get, get them really secure, get them laying really nice. Okay. Up next, we have a Luca USA. Maybe that's Luca USA. I don't know if that's all one word or not. Uh, these, this is a small pair of pants. Um, they're kind of, um, they're cloth pants, uh, so it's just pants. Um, I don't know, I don't think, um, I don't think they're a pajama bottom. Um, no, they're definitely not a pajama bottom. They're, they're too, too nice to wear to sleep. Um, comfortable though, um, or feel, com feel like they'd be comfortable. Um, and I don't know if I, oh, there was a, uh, they are 100% Visco, Viso, Visco, Viscoe, Viscosi, Viscosi. Yeah, they're 100% Viscosi. I'm not. I don't know what that fabric is. I see it a lot when I look at these tags, uh, but um, they really, they're small, but that's just referring to the waist because the legs have plenty of room. So nice, comfortable pair of pants. All right, up next we have this um, Moon River sweater. Uh, it's a medium, and it has kind of this has kind of this uh, trippy pattern. A um, little bit, you know. I don't really. I think it's just kind of a it's just kind of swirly line print. But I don't know. You look at it long enough, and you see. See maybe fire or leaves or maybe animals. I don't know. It's definitely eye catching. Um, so I think that'll do. I think that'll do nice, especially once uh, the cold weather starts to roll back around. I mean, we are in spring, so we're like a few days into spring now. So some of the cold weather stuff is probably not going to sell as well, but it should be fine. All right, up next we have another Zara, and like I always say, Zara is doing very well for us now. Uh, these are a medium pair of pants. Um, these are these are women's pants because it's Zara women, and they're just a pair of vertically striped pants. Um, these did, despite the fact that they're a medium, they did fit on the mannequin. I just had to kind of prop it just right and take the picture real quick, but they did fit. They looked. They looked good, so, and I didn't see any flaws in them. Um, I didn't see any flaws in a lot of the things. There's just a few items in, in this whole box so far that have had flaws. Um, speaking of which, uh, we have another Zara. There it is. Um, and these are a pair of Zara jeans. Um, they do have the drawstring waist. Um, and I, we already had some interest in these. Someone, took, someone asked for measurements. I don't know if they want to buy them or not. Now, these, I don't know if they're flawed on the bottom or not. Because if you look at the bottom, they have this, they're, they're frayed. But if you look closely at how they're frayed, they're frayed in this um, pattern. So it's almost like they were intentionally cut like this. Now, and it's the same pattern on both legs. And all the, all the little like pieces of um, all the little threads and everything that's kind of coming off the bottom, it's all the same length. Um, so I'm pretty sure that this bottom part is intentionally like that. Now, one thing that is not intentional on these though, um, there is a little bit of rust, um, little some little rust spots. Um, I in a few places. I think there's one up here. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera or not um oh wait there it is and there's some down here so but the bottom the bottom fraying is so i think the bottom fraying is intentional but those rust spots are definitely not um so i don't know if we'll try to get those stains out or um sell it as is with the flaws we'll see um all right up next we have a Vince Komodo dress. Uh, this is a medium blue dress. Um, it does have the just the one button in back right there. That 
if button works. Um, oh, well, maybe the button, maybe the button works if I can. There, yep. Okay. Oh, embarrassingly, I unbuttoned it, and now I can't get it rebuttoned. There we go. Button works. Okay, but it, it is just a plain blue uh, Vince Komodo dress. Um, no zipper, just the button that is in various states of working depending on your level of intelligence. Mine being low. Okay. Now, I think we'll make this the... Yeah, we'll do a few more items after this. Okay, up next we have the an aqua cashmere. Uh, this is a 100% cashmere um, sweater. Um, and it does have it does have pockets uh, so I'm calling it a sweater it's doesn't close in the front um, there's no no buttons or anything to hold it shut so something you could throw on over an outfit in the winter um, keep you nice and warm and it's cashmere so it feels so it feels real soft um, and 100% cashmere that's another thing that you can list in the description and it's gonna draw attention all right, up next we have a Lush new with tags. Um, this is a, well, not, not strapless. This is a dress with the little narrow spaghetti straps, and it does have the tiered one, two, three, three tiers, and then it's got an inner liner. Um, yep. Okay. It's pretty nice. Um, the and it does have the zipper in the back with the hooks. Uh, pretty standard for dresses. Um, zipper, zipper works. Um, so that's um, that's something I'm starting to check more and more now, um, just because of the the shoes that we got in our last haul had the zipper. The, they zipped up on the side, but the zipper on one of them was broken, so we can't do anything with them. Or they're going to end up being a redonate. So just something now I check. Um, that's kind of the kind of the motto here, or kind of our mo here, is that we start checking stuff once we're burned by it. Okay, up next we have a Mark Jacob. Um, this is a size two. Um, I guess you would call this a. I guess you'd call it a t-shirt. It kind of looks like some, maybe a, maybe a little bit of sleepwear. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it a piece of, piece of sleepwear or lingerie. Um, let's see if it says on here. No, it doesn't. Uh, but Marc Jacob, um, we did have one other piece of Marc Jacob in our closet that sold last week. So, always like seeing the brands that sell the previous week. Always like getting those again because... You know, if you sell some, if you sell 50, you could sell 50 of some brand and then, but that could happen like months ago. The market could change, it changes pretty fast. So definitely getting stuff that's selling currently, always like that. All right, and we'll make this the last item because we're about halfway through this box. It was overflowing when I started, so we got a, probably a little bit more than half the clothes that were in there. Uh, this is a wild fox. Uh, it's made in Los Angeles. This is a medium, and this is a sweater. And it does have what does it say on the front? It says "Cyber Lover." Um, so, I guess this is something for the for the programmers, for the coders like myself. Um, although definitely a woman's sweatshirt, so not something that I will be taking. Okay, so what do I think of all these um, pieces? Um, overall, overall, I've liked, I've really liked this, um, I've really liked this box uh, so far. Um, I, you know, the the Mark, all the Zara, I like all that. Um, th those are just things that are doing really well for us right now. So always something, always something that um, I like to get. Uh, some of the, um, you know, a few of the items are for colder weather, uh, which 
will probably be an issue coming to going into I mean starting spring we're in spring now um, so but those items maybe we'll maybe we'll list them now and then relist them when it comes time for uh, winter just to um, just to try to get more interest in them my wife has been going through and um, and taking taking items that we've already listed before and putting up some of the some of the reshoots I've done and those items have been selling so there's definitely something to be said about just updating updating an item's description or updating their photos um, or even even taking it down and relisting it if there's not a whole lot of uh, likes or anything on it um, there's definitely something to be said about doing that and being able to get sales that way um, I'm not sure how the Poshmark algorithm works with that, um, but it's definitely something to try. All right, if you liked this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below, um, click the email link below, and send us an email. Um, we're we're listing a lot more, and we're shooting a lot more, and I'm putting out these videos semi regularly. All right, be sure to check back next Tuesday or Thursday. Tuesdays and Thursdays for um, our continuing dive into this box. Until next time, I've been Charles. I'll see you.